Hi everybody, so I'm under the layout right now and I wanted to show you what I've posted in a couple pictures and that is these new storage racks for my passenger cars. So I built these a couple weeks ago and as you can see there are three racks and on each rack there are 12 tracks and so I've got 12 passenger cars per track for a total of 36 passenger cars. Or I could store 72 freight cars if I wanted to, or some mixture of freight and passenger. But right now, I'm just using them for passenger cars. And the funny thing is that this is just a drop in the bucket. I've got a lot more passenger cars on display shelves upstairs. And I've got plenty of other passenger cars that I can put on additional racks down here. And I will be doing that in the near future. Now, the track is just basic Menards O-Gauge track. It's their 30 inch section. That's pretty much the cheapest new O-Gauge track you can buy these days. It's not powered or anything, it's just track on wood. Very simple and the only goal here is storage. I like to keep all my passenger cars at the ready. I don't like to have them sitting in boxes. And that way if I wanna run a particular passenger train, I can just come down here and pull out the cars I need. Now I'm gonna build another one of these on the opposite side. So let's go over there. And I apologize for the shaky camera work. I'm crawling on my hands and knees down here. All right, so this is the opposite side of where we just were. And so I've got some boxes here right now, but these will be moved elsewhere. And this will also become one of those triple rack storage facilities for passenger or freight cars. Probably passenger cars, and if I have enough space, I'll start putting freight cars here as well. And then I'm going to do another one of these in the Colorado room that'll be a little bit larger, and that will be used primarily for freight cars. So yeah, just trying to get some nice on-track storage under the layout, and this is how it's happening. And while we're at it, here's that spot in the Colorado room where I'm going to be storing some freight and passenger cars. Right now, there's just some junk under there but that'll be cleared out and that'll make way for some organized on-track storage. Let me turn on the light in here so you can see it a little better. There we go. So that's the space. It's quite a bit larger than the space I'm using for those triple storage racks. So this will be able to store quite a lot more cars. And by the way, all of this empty space where I'm putting these storage racks is thanks to the fact that I'm now storing all my locomotive boxes off-site in a storage facility. And so I've got a lot more empty space under the layout now, and I'm turning a lot of that into passenger and freight car storage. So this is the storage place where I have all my empty train boxes, at least all my empty locomotive and passenger car boxes. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. I'm probably gonna have to upgrade this space soon. This is a 10 by 10 and I'll be upgrading to a 10 by 15 soon, but yeah. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff here. Most of this is Lionel, of course, in the middle, and, and then back here, this is all Lionel for the most part, and then MTH over here, and then there's Atlas over here in the corner, as well as some Menard stuff, but yeah. <laughs> There's... There's a lot of train boxes in here. Got a little corridor back here. Anyway, just thought you might want to see this. Kind of interesting. And by the way, yes, when I move to the larger space, I will probably put these up on some pallets just to protect them. But honestly, they're pretty safe the way they are right now. This facility is up on a hill and I'm on the top floor, the fourth floor. So the likelihood of a flood or anything here is pretty slim and everything's insured. So I think they're pretty safe and this facility's pretty darn new. It's only a few years old. So uh, it's a really good space to store my train boxes, at least for the time being. And while we're on the topic of storing trains, I've once again run out of space to display my locomotives. So I'm looking for a new spot to put a display case and I think it's gonna be right here under the layout so there's some storage right here but right next to it is an open slot and by the way you can see those passenger cars right there that's the reason why i'm building the storage racks because prior to the storage racks and still there are lots of passenger cars just sitting around under the layout 
not on tracks and collecting dust and so forth. And I want to get them on tracks so that they're easy to access and relatively protected. But anyway, right here is going to be where the next display case will be. And it's going to be tricky because I'm going to have to actually remove part of the layout table here so I can fit an entire case here. So I'm going to have to put additional supports under the table and also additional supports up here and then cut out this front section so that I can add a display case. So it's going to be a lot of work, but that's what it's come to because I've pretty much run out of space for any easy display cases. And now I've got to start integrating them into the layout. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that about does it for this video. I just wanted to quickly show you the evolving storage situation under the layout. So that'll do it for now. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.